Hello Dino Peeps, we are once again at our favorite topic, breeding, and tips and tricks on how to make breeding dinos in ARC easier. Did you know that some tames can support you during breeding? During breeding, you can use a number of tames and tools that can help you with your breeding. I'll tell you which ones I've used in the past, especially on official and unmodded servers. With this knowledge, you are ahead of many players and will gain an advantage. Tame number one, Procoptodon. The kangaroo is a huge help in raising animals that grow slowly or starve quickly. The kangaroo can take baby animals into its pouch and if it also has a mate around for the mate boost, which you can tell by the little heart above its name, then the babies in the pouch will eat less. At the same time, if you imprint babies in the pouch, they get twice the imprint. This takes a little stress out of having to be there on time for all the imprints on official servers because otherwise you don't get 100% and you won't get the full imprint bonus. Walk imprints with slow running babies are also no problem anymore in the kangaroo. Just whistle the baby in the pouch to follow you and then bounce around with a procoptodon. Next, the mewing. The mewing is probably your number one tame you want to have on hand when breeding because a mewing filled with your baby's favorite food acts like a feeding trough. Before the mewing was introduced with Genesis 2, babies had to be hand fed up to 10% growth. This could quickly become a stressful job, especially if you had a lot of babies to raise. Mewings make this job a lot easier. Just level up nursing effectiveness and the radio in which the mewing function as a trough will become large and on top the food will be more efficient and replenish more food on the baby. If you're on PvP, you have two more things you can do with the Mewing. If you're close to an enemy base with the Mewing you have access and you have access to the babies, the Mewing can steal these babies. If you press C, the Mewing grabs the babies up to four and claims them as your own property. The Mewing can also transfer the imprint name within your tribe. To do so, you have to unclaim the baby whose imprint you want to transfer and the person who should get the imprint claims the baby with the Mewing theft attack. The imprint name will then be transferred to the person. It is important that the animal is not fully grown yet, otherwise the Mewing cannot steal it. The next animal is the Desmodos and it has only been in the game for a very short time but is already super helpful for breeders. When you have farmed 200 blood bags with your Desmodos, you can make a liquid in its inventory called the Sanguine Elixir. If you drink this while standing in front of a baby, then that baby will directly get 30% imprint once. The Desmodos can also help you to get perfect tames, especially on servers with fast rates. You can get a max tame of 225 with a Sanguine Elixir. Next one is the Parasaur and this one helps you indirectly with the babies but when they hatch or are born they show you where the babies are with the alarm function if you have it activated on the Parasaur. And the last tame is the Shadow Mane. The Shadow Mane can also help you breed. Wondering how? This is more of a PvP topic but since there are some PvP players here I'm sure you find this interesting. If you are cryo dinos, then you cannot avoid that they lay on the ground with cryo sickness, especially if you collect babies in cryos to raise them all together. Babies that are asleep will not eat from the maywing or the trough, but only from food in the inventory. To prevent them from starving, you can make the boost scream with your shadow mane. This is done with the male. And it works as soon as the male has a mate boost. This means you need a female nearby when you do the shadow mane boost scream. When the babies get buffed, the torpor disappears much faster. By the way, this also works with adult animals. As a breeder, you should consider using some, if not all, of these animals to simplify your breeder life. Breeding itself is already extensive enough, so you should not do it without the help of these creatures. My personal favorites are especially the Dismodus, but also the Mewing. You see, even I, who is really equipped and spoiled with all the luxuries of a modded server, still uses vanilla mechanics to advance her breeding. I hope this video has helped you to figure out which animals you should have ready when breeding to make your life much easier. And by the way, one more thing on my account. For this month, you can still get the Rockwell t-shirt in my merch store. At the end of the month, it will disappear from the store and you still have a few days left before it's gone forever. So if you want to have some unofficial ARC merch, then head over to the store. Link in the description. Otherwise, I'll send you now to the video where you will learn how the incubator works. Another convenience you shouldn't miss out on as a breeder. So see you in the next video. Bye!